Greetings hobbyists, this is R Sans of Vool. In this video we're going to have a look at a free add-on called QuickSnap. So QuickSnap is available on Blender Marketplace and on GitHub. If you go to GitHub then it is free. And this comes from Julian Heijman and I apologise if I've said that wrong. Now if you haven't used GitHub before, it's got all the files at the top and it's got a lot of information there which can get a little overwhelming, I'll talk about that. But if you scroll down it's got videos and notes on how things work. So you can look there for more information. But if you want to get these files all you do is click code and then you can download the zip folder and then you can install it as any other normal add-on. So I've already installed this and I've gone to quick snap and I've just made sure that it's activated and then I've saved my preferences. And from that point on you've got quick snap enabled in Blender and I don't know why anyone wouldn't want this. It's free and it adds so much functionality to Blender it is untrue and it stops you having to go through all your different snap options that you normally have up here which can be a little bit annoying and tedious. Now I will say that the shortcut for this which is Control shift and V is a little bit annoying. I will probably change that to something else. Probably shift and Q because I'm so used to using Q for hard ops so my fingers know where it is. But let's talk through how this works. So I've got this activated at the moment. You can see we've got this icon here and I can move around and it indicates different things as we click on it. If you click off you can do that as well and then you can jump between which object you want to use. If you had an object active as you click Control, Shift and V then it will assume that you want to use that one. Now if you want this is activated press Control, Shift and V again you get this pie menu which shows essentially what you're doing and you can quite nicely click here to open the add-on settings and go through your shortcuts and this would be where you change your shortcut for starting this so you just click there and then you can make that change. Now if we bring up the pie menu again it shows you what you're currently doing but you don't actually need this in any way shape or form because this is actually a really well formed add-on. Quick snap pie just shows you what you're doing but you really don't need it. What you do instead, I'm just going to escape out of it so I can start again, is you control shift and V and then you determine what you want to be selecting from an object. So for example if you press 1 then you're going to be trying to lock onto vertices. If you press two, then you're gonna be locking onto edges and it specifically snaps to or detects the center of those edges. And if you press three, it's going to do faces and focuses on the center of those faces. So this is really nice. I will also say you can press O so that you'll lock onto an origin of an object. So typically the center of it, though obviously you can manipulate the origin as you want. So I'm gonna press one and I'm gonna select a vertex, so there. Now from this point, you can select what you want to lock onto. And this is done in exactly the same way. One, and it will lock onto vertices. Two, and it will lock onto edges or the center of those edges. And three, it will lock onto the center of faces. Or O, and it will lock onto the origin of an object. It's that quick and easy to use. You just control shift and V, click on what you want to be selecting. So I've selected two for an edge and then select what you want to lock onto. So one for a vertex and you'll notice it will allow you to go to ones at the back and you can pan round as you're doing this. I would say this is probably one of the most perfectly formed add-ons that I've seen. And while it does do something in theory that's simple, it's got so much utility to it and it does just do it perfectly. The other thing you could do is exactly the same thing, but in vertex mode. I've got machine tools, so I use that just to click into that. You could go into it normally. And if you select a series of vertices, for example, I've got those selected. And then again, control shift and V, I'm going to press two to select an edge. So I'm gonna grab that edge one to link to a vertex and then I can just move it to that vertex or I could click two and go to that edge or I could click three and go to that face. And you'll see it really nicely shows you the faces you can't see and you can scroll around still if you want to. The other thing you can do if you want to is let's say I'm going to be moving these and I'm going to control shift and V is you can use the standard things that you'd normally be able to use in Blender. So if I click this and want to let's say go to that vertex I would click one to be looking for vertices but you can press say shift and Z and it will do everything but the Z axis or you could click on let's say Z to just be moving down the axis. So it works in exactly the same way as snapping normally works it just gives you a lot more utility to it. If I just undo that, the other thing that I should say that it will do is if we select those and control J to join those together and go into vertex mode and I select these, you can have auto merge vertices working either on or off. For example, it's off at the moment. If I press control shift and V and two to move that to there, this has not merged the vertices because auto merge vertices is not on. Whereas if I undo that, and turn on auto merge vertices and do exactly the same thing. They'll do it differently now. Control shift and V, click 
click on three to do it face and then three to do it to that face. You can do it however you want. That's what's great about this. If I then click this one and G, they've merged these together. So I'm not sure if it'll automatically delete the face. No, it doesn't. So if you've got machine tools, you just click three for clean up and make sure that you are cleaning faces and it will have deleted that face inside. So machine tools really helps to speed this up as well. The final thing that I just want to point out, if we delete this and then shift an A and bring in another cube and then duplicate those, is that if you've got several objects, you can use this really efficiently. So for example, I can go to move that one to there. Let's do one again. And then I could select both of these and then control shift V and then move that vertex to there. So you can move multiple objects at the same time. So that is Quick Snap, a free add-on. I don't know why you wouldn't go and download that straight away. It's absolutely amazing. It makes it much simpler to select either vertices, edges, faces, or origins, and then snap those to other vertices, edges, faces, or origins. And what I particularly like about it is you don't have to snap a vertex to a vertex. You can snap a vertex to an edge or a face. Hopefully you found that useful. Give the video a like if you found it helpful. And if you want to support the channel further, please do think about checking out the Patreon. Have a great day, guys.